I, I love music, and uh, for his acoustics work, we got into design of auditoriums, concert halls. We didn't know much about it. And so I decided to make a big research project out of this. Leo Baranek's dedication to the art and science of acoustics spans more than six decades and touches some of our nation's most important historical moments. The Electroacoustics Laboratory job was to improve communications in combat vehicles. Post-World War II was the beginning of Baranek's expansion into a diverse spectrum of acoustical projects. A job came in to MIT from the United Nations architects, asking them if they could do acoustical consulting on the United Nations buildings. It turns out that the job was so big that we decided to form a partnership, and uh, within about five years, we had about uh, 75 to 100 uh, people working for us and doing buildings all over the United States and eventually all over the world. And so we got to build the first piece of the internet, the ARPANET. And it turned out that it was our, really our invention. President Nixon today gave up those Watergate tapes. Fred Graham covered the story. I would say the Watergate thing was more decisive. They were, of course, concerned about these missing uh, minutes on the tapes that in Nixon's time. And uh, the question was, could we somehow dig out of the tape what was really been said there it turned out we could not. And the next question was, did the secretary erase those things? And we concluded she was not, that the erasures were done by an amateur and not by a, somebody who knew how to use the equipment. With a career spanning six decades and countless areas of influence, Leo Baranek remains passionate about acoustics. One takes pride in being able to do something that's useful, and that is why I stay in the field.